What separates our town from others in the valley? Come along as we search for the magic that is uniquely Fountain Hills. Hello, and welcome to another episode of Uniquely Fountain Hills, a monthly video series designed to spotlight the diversity of businesses in Fountain Hills and encourage residents to shop local. I'm Karen Anderson, your host of Uniquely Fountain Hills. I handle marketing, communications, and member events for the Fountain Hills Chamber of Commerce. This month, we're focusing on education. So today, I'm here at the Fountain Hills Library. Fountain Hills provides top-notch academic programs and a variety of extracurricular opportunities to suit kids of all ages. This town is an amazing place to call home. It is not surprising to know we have a growing population of young families. Along with our beautiful views, Fountain Hills has much to offer in the way of education. Today, we sat down with Dr. Kane Jagodinsky, Superintendent of Fountain Hills Unified School District. FHUSD serves approximately 1,300 students and draws children from Fountain Hills and nearby Fort McDowell Yavapai Nation, as well as others whose parents prefer a safe, more intimate environment of the schools here in Fountain Hills. Let's hear Dr. J tell us why Fountain Hills Unified School District is unlike any other. So we opened in 1974. Uh, with one school it expanded over time we've had some um, you know periods of growth and periods of decline with housing and with enrollment and so where we're currently at is we have a, uh, a k3 we have a 4 8 and a 9 12 school and next year we'll be converting that to a k5 a 6 8 and a 9 12 so a better model to serve the needs of our community I think what's separated us is that being small, we know all our kids. And so the caring for kids factor is has been huge for us. That's been our number one, uh, with my number one goal as a principal and is now as a superintendent is that um, our, we care, we're the best at caring for kids. And when you care for kids, you do things like intervention and enrichment and you give them voice and you allow them to create new opportunities and they don't get lost here. That's the other piece. And a lot of large schools, kids get lost in, in you know, with, with all the students and teachers and uh, things that happen throughout the day in Fountain Hills, it just doesn't happen. You, you, everyone knows your name, they know your story. And, um, and because of that, they, they have a lot of success with all those caring adults looking after them. And so we have uh, McDowell Mountain is an A-plus school of excellence, and Fountain Hills High School is also an A-plus school of excellence. Uh, we've been, our high school has been four years in a row, U.S. News and World Reports, uh, best and nationally ranked. So a lot of tradition of excellence, 25 state championships in our history. And so we, we meet the needs of our kids athletically, uh, academically, and, and through the arts. I think it impacts Fountain Hills in a lot of ways. One, our students are a lot of the workers in the community that are helping businesses strive and helping them meet the needs of their customers. We'll have an internship program for seniors next year where businesses can um, and hire on for a 60-day period of time, a senior to do an internship. Um, our students do 24 hours of community service in high school for a diploma, so they're out in the community, they're involved in the churches, they're involved in the, uh, the town events, and so I think that the, the children of the town really make it vibrant and make it a, a great place to live, and we have great kids here. I think it's important to learn local, you know, just like we shop local, we learn local. We have a great school system here. Um, we have lots of offerings, honors and gifted. We have a lot of technolo technology advancements, virtual reality, um, lots of CT offerings for career and technical education. So we have everything that you need right here in town, but then you also have for your children a small group of, um, of you know, people with common interests that are all coming together to support the community. The more, the more students that come here, the more successful we, we are in athletics, with our academics and with our arts. So I, my message is, is that come visit our campuses, come see the new McDowell Mountain that's gonna be um, revealed in, in August and learn local. As you can see, Dr. J, along with the FHUSD administrators, teachers, and staff are committed to providing our community, our students, and their parents with the services and educational programs that will allow every child in our district to achieve his or her academic goals. Dr. J, thank you so much for being here today to share more about our school district. Some children excel best in a more customized environment. Next, we will be learning about micro schools. Tamara Becker, creator of Adamo Education, is here to tell us about their approach to learning. 
Tamara has more than 25 years experience as an educator driven by her own love of learning. I can't wait to hear all about Adamo Education. I've done a little bit of everything in the field. Um, most recently was the superintendent of Primavera Online, which is the largest online school in the state of Arizona. However, that was through the pandemic, and as we we're coming out of the pandemic, I saw an opportunity for education to innovate itself, to do something different. And I sadly just saw us go back to doing things the same way we've always done it. So that's when I took the leap of faith, started Adamo, and I'm able to reconnect with parents and kids again. So it's a nice way to you know, transition as my career is coming to an end. We started here in Fountain Hills um, because there was no school choice for parents or students. The charter school that was in the community unfortunately closed down at the end of the school year, leaving parents and students no options. Um, after 26 years in education, I'm a firm believer in not one size fits all. And so I wanted to start um, a DAMO here in the Fountain Hills area to help support parents and students in the community. So at Adamo, we're a smaller, more personalized learning environment. We're able to customize the learning experience for students. And we've been able to evidence significant academic and social growth and achievement um, with our students last year. We evidenced 69% growth in math and 68% growth in English in one year. So our program works and you know we, parents really do become actively involved in their child's education here at Adamo. At the end of every day, they pretty much have a parent-teacher conference with staff. They know how they've been doing, they know what they worked on that day, and they know what they need to reinforce at home. Because we get to know the students so well, we know what their strengths are, we know what type of an environment they'll thrive in, and so we'll work directly with the parent to find the best educational option for high school. We are enrolling for the upcoming school year. Um, because we are small, space is limited, and we um, want to continue to help serve the, the parents and students in Fountain Hills. Tamara, thank you so much. It is fascinating to see how education is evolving to meet the needs of our children. Adamo Education gives parents a personalized and flexible option for their children combining the best elements from traditional, digital, and at-home learning. If you have a child who is ready to start their learning adventure, give them a call. Children can start their journey at any time before or during the school year. If a private school is what you need for your child, Fountain Hills has that as well. The Inspiration Academy is an innovative K-12 private school here in town. We have Lisa Restuccia here with us today to share about the education opportunities provided at the Inspiration Academy. We really focus on the individual child and the whole child. And just not just the workbook and the textbook, but really seeing what their interests are, where their strengths are, where their weaknesses are, and individualize the curriculum towards them. And we involve the community a lot, so there's a lot of community involvement, both the community coming into us and us going into the community. So in addition to the typical subjects that we have, um, we also incorporate those subjects into our community modules. And we have over 15 community modules. Um, some of them include nutrition and wellness, garden, performing arts, personal finance, economics, career options, um, STEM is a large one, cultural studies, historical studies. Um, and everything that we do kind of fits into those 15 modules that we have. So we wrote a grant for an NFL Green grant because the Super Bowl was here. So they offered some grants and we were able to get one to put in our school garden and collaborating with the church here. So we actually picked up um, four garden beds from the community garden here because they're getting new composite ones. So we have four of theirs. Um, and we're going to be putting in a really nice garden to where we can grow the vegetables and also cook them, which will blend in with our culinary studies. It is very individualized and we really go off what they are interested in. Um, plus, adding on extra things because we're like, they may not have heard of this or they may not have had this opportunity yet, so let's get them interested in it. We're a big family. Uh, everybody loves each other here. Um, we don't really deal with any of the bullying and it's just one big happy family. And I think another good thing about with the high school being here is you don't have that typical behavior that you do from middle or high school students. We don't have the issue with the drugs or any of that negative peer pressure. 
And because it's like a family setting to where they're with younger people as well, they really see themselves as mentors. So they keep their behavior better than what they would if they were just around their own age group. Because it's individualized and because it's multi-age, they don't have to be on the same curriculum. So if they are below grade level, if they're at grade level or above, we meet them where they are and help them grow from there. Thank you, Lisa. We enjoyed hearing all about the holistic, personalized approach your school has to offer. If you're considering a private school for your child, you can feel confident the Inspiration Academy will provide a nurturing environment with a growth mindset where your child will be supported as they set and achieve their goals. That wraps up this episode of Uniquely Fountain Hills. On behalf of myself, the Fountain Hills Chamber of Commerce, the Fountain Hills Unified School District, Adamo Education, and the Inspiration Academy, we thank you for watching. Remember, all our schools and other members are available on the Chamber of Commerce's online business directory, as well as our brand new Visit Fountain Hills app. Be sure to download the app to your smartphone for a complete list of all our Chamber members, as well as their contact information. I look forward to seeing you next month for another episode of Uniquely Fountain Hills. Remember to shop local Fountain Hills and have a great day.